Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great destination trailer value from Parkway RV Center. And, folks, I don't have to remind you how hard it is to find a good pre-owned used destination trailer. And today we're going to look at a 2015 Jayco. It's the model number 40 BHTS. It's the DST model, which is abbreviation for destination. Um, 41 feet long. 9,900, might as well say 10,000 pounds is what it weighs right now. Nationwide deliveries available. Uh, kind of interesting how we got this one, folks. Um, this came out of East Tennessee, out of the Smoky Mountains, Gatlinburg, uh, Pigeon Forge area. Guy bought this thing brand new. Had it special, ordered it brand new with a lot of extra features uh, because he was going to keep it in the mountains. He had the extra insulation, the thermal pane windows, and all that stuff added to it. Second air conditioner. Used it up there on a um, one of the numerous permanent campgrounds up there where you rent the spots by the month and used it, he said, probably about a dozen times in the last three years. Uh, most of the time just for weekend trips and spent one whole week in it and um, didn't really use it enough anymore to keep having it. And he's seen my ad on Craigslist that we keep on there. We buy RVs and called us and sent some pictures we worked out a deal went up there and picked it up brought it back here the reason i'm telling you all this because a you know it hasn't been a live-in unit so it's not worn out even though it is a 15. you live in one of these full time for three years you're going to wear it out and b it's been a tennessee trailer its whole life so it's not nothing up north rust and all that other stuff it's been towed to the campground from the dealer he bought it from and when it was new and then we picked it up. It's about two and a half hours from here. We picked it up and brought it back here. That's the only time this trailer has been towed besides, of course, when it came from the factory to the original uh, selling dealer. Uh, he spent right at $50,000 new as equipped. Uh, I'm going to go over some of the options that weren't standard and, of course, show you the standard options, too. Now, it's dirty, folks. I just got it in. haven't washed it yet. It's going to look a lot better after it's cleaned up. But the unit shows very, very little use on the inside. It's 41 feet long. All three slide outs, it's got three slide outs, are on one side, which is really nice, especially if you're going to set it up permanently somewhere. You don't have to get as wide of the campsite. And it's a good, deep 36-inch slides. Of course, Jayco, at the time this unit was built, was the largest privately owned manufacturer of RVs, um, in the RV industry, now they're owned by Thor. 80% of their workforce were, were either Amish or Mennonites, and the Jayco J Flight has been the best selling travel trailer series for the last 12 to 13 years or so. So, uh, in fact, Jayco, if I'm not mistaken, is the number one manufacturer of towable RVs. And this is the big boy, it's 41 feet long, like I said, right at 10,000 pounds. You know, we do offer nationwide delivery, free local delivery. And um, it's going to save you some money, folks. And it's going to clean up, shine like a new penny. Got the 30 pound propane tanks on the front. It's 50 amp service. He paid extra. Got the, uh, the, the second air conditioner added to it because, you know, I half grew up in the mountains and, and it's a little different here. Um, you know, in the wintertime, it gets ice cold up in the mountains, just like it would in Michigan or places like that. But in the summertime, you know, it gets into the 90s. So definitely um, different. But see, he did have that second air conditioner. He spent almost $3,000 extra when he bought it new, had a washer and dryer installed. Got the big water heater. You can underpin this, um, you know, if you're going to keep it in really cold climate. He hasn't, he never did underpin it, and he never had a frozen line in the last three years that he's had it. So definitely a well-insulated model. You know, these are better insulated than a standard travel trailer. They got a higher interior roof height and a bunch of other features that normal travel trailers don't have. In fact, the destination trailer, for those of you who are looking for this for uh, housing, a regular travel trailer, believe it or not, is not designed to be used for a permanent residence. This is what they call a long-term or seasonal camper. It is designed for long-term use or for a live-in unit. 
It does, he also paid extra, got the upgrade power awning. It's got uh, the first entry door up here into the front bedroom and your sliding glass door, which is perfect for a deck if you want to build a deck on the side of it. Got outside speakers, thermal pane windows, much more. Let's look inside. And it's got some really cool features. He pretty much got every option you can add to it when it was new. Um, you step inside, of course, HDTV. Got the optional fireplace, and I've studied the brochure, so when I say optional, folks, that means he paid extra for these items. It has a customer value package, um, which included the thermal pane windows, included the second air conditioner, and the oven, because these only come standard with a microwave confection oven, and then a stove top. Well, this one's got a microwave and a uh, LP oven. Another feature about this a lot of people don't realize is that the RV refrigerators, the two-way that run off gas and electric, they're not designed to be used every day. This, of course, is an 18 cubic foot all-electric refrigerator freezer. Works, ice cold, and if these, ever, these last longer than an RV fridge, and if they go out, well, folks, you're talking about a whole lot less money. I'll put it to you this way. The, uh, a 14 cubic foot RV refrigerator, which holds less food than this, about the same dimensions, is $5,000 if you ever have to replace it. And just to get them rebuilt, cost you about three grand. Or, refrigerator like this, six, seven hundred dollars in a Lowe's or a Home Depot, you're done. And this lasts longer. And it's, it holds more food designed to be used every day. And you saw the temperature, obviously, it works. Um, Got the electric fireplace that runs that can set it for uh, auxiliary electric heater, or you can set it just for the effect in the summertime. Like I said, HDTV, electric ceiling fan, uh, sleeper sofa makes a bed, table and chairs. Got all LED lighting in here, and you'll if you're going to stay in one full time, you'll really appreciate the 90 inch tall ceiling. So that's definitely a lot of headroom, and you're not going to feel claustrophobic. This is a two-bedroom, two-bath, or bath-and-a-half, however you want to pronounce it, model. And we're going to show the front first. This is your main bathroom, porcelain china toilet. And, you know, folks, this isn't a park model. It's a destination trailer. So it has holding tanks. A lot of people confuse park models with destination trailers. Folks, park models are mini mobile homes. They're anywhere from 14 to 16 foot wide. You can't move them without a semi-truck. They can't be moved without permits, wide load permits. They don't have their own built-in heat and air. You have to have your own separate heat and air unit. And um, they look like a little motorhome. They're usually 12, 14 foot tall. Um, and this, and that's something you hardly ever see you. Well, most people think of park models are actually called destination trailers. And these right here are just like a big travel trailer. It's got their own heat and air unit built in. It's got uh, their own holding tank, so you can use it in any campground. Even though this is kind of big to take to the lake for the weekend, theoretically you could use this as a big travel trailer as well. Of course, you've got the Whirlpool stack washer and dryer. That was almost $3,000 when it was new, you know, when you had the factory install it. And you can see, like, the countertops, the sink. There's not a lot of use in this camper. Certainly not considering that we're selling it for over 20 grand less than what it costs new. I mean, basically, you can take the money we're saving you on this and buy you a nice pickup truck to tow it with if you wanted to, and just in the money we're saving you from a new one. He did have the optional king bed put in here. He ordered it with the king bed and the optional second ducted roof air. Plenty of windows in here. You've got your own entry door to the outside. So it's got a power awning, big closet in the back. It's got a lot of space in here, folks. I mean, be honest with you, there's some apartments out there that don't have as much square footage as this uh, destination trailer does. So you can sleep two in the front, two here, and of course in the back you've got sleeping ability for three more. So you can certainly carry about as many people as you'd want to sleep or, or want to have with you. And folks, remember, if you do have occasional company, 
tons of space in here for a couple of air mattresses so you can sleep about as many as you want to got day night shades in the windows um, nice little bit of trim work uh, remember these are all hardwood Amish built cabinets I like the fact they've got the breakers and fuses right here we don't have to have a ladder or get down on the floor to get to that's kind of cool because anybody that stays in RV will tell you sometimes fuses blow sometimes breakers flip and um, it's nice having an easy access for that I'm gonna walk here into the back bedroom um, got that little what they put in them now for sofas in these bunk rooms and that actually makes a queen bed uh, you've got a fold down bunk on top and hasn't been used much because those shocks are nice and stiff so you can sleep three back here with room for a small air mattress if you need to sleep one or two more um, big closet back here I asked him and he said he never had a TV back here and Obviously, there's no skint spots where they screwed TVs in and out, so I, I, I believe them. You know, because you had to pay extra when it was new for that rear TV. Big window in the back, and you can put pretty much whatever you want back there. If you're going to set it up full time, you put your chair back there, a bookshelf, a desk, whatever you need to. You got your, I call it the second bath. A lot of people call them half baths, but whatever you call it. Um, you know, you got another China RV toilet. You got a sink back here, ideal for kids. Perfect family camper. You know, if you're buying a lot somewhere on a lake or in the mountains like this guy had, I mean, this is perfect um, for the whole family and even for your kids to bring friends with them, which is eventually going to happen. Or here's another thing to consider, folks. You're going to buy one of these to live in. Um, Use this back bedroom for a built-in storage building. I mean, you've got probably uh, eight foot, eight foot long area back here. Um, you can take this sofa out. You can take that bunk out or use that for a shelf, and have your own storage building back here. Definitely got a lot of pluses, folks. This unit's twenty nine nine, and it's going to be cleaned up, checked out ready to go um, it's going to include at that 29.9 haggle free option a price it's going to include a 90 day nationwide limited warranty it's going to include a major systems inspection which I have no doubt uh, this thing's going to pass with flying colors but we're going to go through a major extensive checkout on this camper make sure everything